And it, it's time for the grand final in the Mountain Trail Challenge. We're going to be seeing Vega Squadron versus Power Rangers. It's going to be a best of five series. The winner of this will take home 3,000 euros. The loser, well, he still gets 1,500 euros. That's, uh, well, I want it as well, actually. I'm just looking forward to this match. With me is Lizard from My Insanity. He's a well-known Meepo player and a uh, <coughs> bit of a musical uh, artist as well, I would say. So, uh, how are you doing, man? Happy to be here, or...? There we go! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Yeah, he is here just to, you know, give some musical background and uh, have fun with me. <laughs> Is, uh... Yeah, I'm not here from the for the mechanical part of the stream. I'm just here to have fun and enjoy the game as much as you guys. Yeah, he, he's here uh, as our production value, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the first time out of our big tournaments that the My Insanity team didn't well, win everything. How do you feel actually about that? Because we're defeated by My Insanity, by Vega. Yeah. Uh, I feel pretty bad. We won one game with Meepo versus them, but lost two. We played really bad, and we deserved to, we deserve to lose. So whatever. Good luck to them. You kind of want to win. Uh, kind of want to hope that they win from you for now, or for, just for your sake as well. Uh, I don't know. I like both teams out here. I have friends in both teams, so. I also have people muted in both teams. Yeah, I have a few people <laughs> muted as well, so I don't know. I hate them and love them the same, so good luck to both of them. Here we go, the gyrocopter, it's... It's just, it's, it's really just a basic pick you see all the time, you know, just the great AoE is there, you can... Just great in the early game, it drops up if he doesn't get his BKB in good enough timing, but apart, after that he will just get back on his feet straight away. This, no, this hero is overall. This hero is overall very strong right now. Yeah. The amount of damage he dishes out at each part of the game is insane, and uh, we can't be surprised that it was first picked. We just, you just see it all the time at the moment. I don't think that we'll ever stop seeing it in this pack. It's too good for the crew. I agree. I definitely Reserve agree. Time. I'm just happy. Quite actually, I'm just happy that Lash Wreck is banned out because we've seen it a little bit too much lately. Hey, it's one of those heroes, one of the patch's best heroes, like the last patch's troll and jugger, it's it's gyro and dying to scar, gyrocopter, I already <laughs> said gyro, <laughs> it's slash like and dying gyrocopter this patch. Undying was nerfed a little bit, but that hero is still a beast, so. He can do yeah. so much for you, for you in the early game as well. Exactly, exactly. But just one question, who do you think will win? Vega or PR, are you... What you I don't know. Actually, I have no idea. I respect the both teams, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, I lean a little bit to Vega. That's all. I think they like 60-40% on Vega. That's all. Well, actually, what is it? The uh, statistics from eBattle say 77% Vega, 23% PR. And, there you go. And what is it in D2L? Oh, the two launches. Pick. Vega, yeah. 70. There you go, I told you, man. I know this shit. I am professional doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Uh, at least Vega, they're picking the hero that is good versus clockwork. They pick it for themselves, so it's a bit of a block, block pick there for P. That's at least good yep. to see there. It's, it's also, uh, it's a really nice hero to, you know, get away from Gyro at least. You know, if he puts Rocket Barrage and you can just put Rocket Barrage back. Goal is uh, actually his skills are quite easy to steal most of them. The IO. An IO, yeah. Bad dudes banning someone there we go. They ban out the Winter Wyvern immediately after IO. That hero is one of the best. Uh, best heroes in this patch, and overall, it's really good versus IO. If you relocate into him, he can just uh, ulti the IO, and the hero IO brought with himself just kills him. Yeah, you but, can yeah. just either run away or just wait for backup. Uh, yeah, that's too, exactly. And I'm gonna imagine that we're also gonna see a Disruptor ban. Uh, probably. There, uh, it doesn't have to happen, but Disruptor is also really nice. Witch Doctor is a nice hero versus that combo. There are plenty of counters, but if you play the combination right, it's, it's just impossible to counter if you play it right, that's all. Let's see what happens. So, they ban out, uh, they ban out Darks here. Interesting. That's... You know, the search is nice to keep everybody alive and this is pretty strong offlane. I think they might be picking up some... 
as a melee uh, seconds remaining. or position one. And out in also, it's actually really nice. Let's say if they're, they're not uh, putting Jared together with an IO, they can and they run a tiny and tiny plus surge is just ridiculous because there's no real way to really guide them around them. You are correct. There we go. They ban out an AA, so. We're trying to get the global out of there. If just better time for IO. There's actually just two bands used to protect your IO. Pretty much, yes. The, the ancient apparition also stops you from healing anyone with the uh, ulti. So, yeah. Although that leaves not a strong. But yeah, they ban out the. Uh, Brood the... Mama. Wind Ranger at your I like that. It's just such an annoying heal to deal with. And it's kind of the same as you have a Nyx or whatever, some Invis. You can just really get on top of that. You always have like this scout for you. It just takes over your whole jungle and then. Uh, it g gives you all sorts of information for your Wisp to work with. So yeah, exactly what you said. It gives. Too much info on the opposing team and their movements and makes the relocate even that little bit easier, you know. Megan are just picking up heroes that kind of at the moment are just good on their own. Like Wind Ranger is able to run away from relocate. Ru Rubik is the only one really susceptible. And even then, depending on what the do, you can actually just still relocate and relocate yourself out. <laughs> that would be really <laughs> iffy okay, play. I haven't seen that one. And, so far. You know, if they don't, if they use a tether before and they already use the spirit balls before they relocate, you can just still relocate and just relocate yourself. <laughs> okay, if that happens, I'm gonna sing him a harmonica. Okay, I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna play the harmonica for like five seconds if that happens. I don't see that happening. <laughs> any. Me, me neither. <laughs> Usually, you either tether afterwards or you use the spirit balls before you're relocating out, yeah, uh, or so. even overcharge. But it is a really, really. Tough play to make and really unexpected. But if you're actually able, <laughs> okay, if he's... that's the first spirit. time I actually heard. That. Oh, there's a storm spirit. Let's. Yeah, man, they're good just going ganking here. Slide. They just want to have that... global presence and. Slardar. Okay, Vegas, right? Is answering back with a really mid game oriented strat already. Because you're not. They are really on... strong. They are really strong mid game. You are completely right. Just amplify damage for the wind range with the focus fire. Let's say if you go slashes build. If, uh, <laughs> then you blow up anybody. As long as they're locked down, there's no way for really to stand versus that combination. Mm, there's a, a, absolutely no way. You are completely right. Slardar brings a lot of a lot to the table, uh, and they are dire as well, right? So it makes the Roshan even easier for them. And what I'm interested in is how they're gonna lane with the Wisp. I guess it's. Helicopter Wisp plus one bottom lane, easy lane, I mean, safe lane, or maybe they grab something like a Bristleback and go off lane. What do you think? I think it, I don't think they're gonna pick up a Bristleback versus a Slaughter. Yeah, you are, you are, really you are right, you are right, Sky that's really good. They're going for a little bit of a, they don't have a lot of lockdown now on PR. Apart from Vortex and and homing missile that hits like three, four seconds later, it's... They're... They have no lockdown at all. Yeah. It's just not enough, really. They will need to pick up something uh, for the offlane with lockdown. Yeah, these must get banned out. That was one of the heroes I was thinking about. It's also really nice with to relocate if you have hawks flying around the map everywhere, giving you information. It makes the relocate gank even easier. Yeah, that's what the Cloud9 uh, tactic, right? Uh, get fish, the one with the most fish in winds. Yeah, and that's, exactly. That's part of uh, that thread there, but. We're not gonna see that, so Five I don't think they will pick up a bounty hunter. That's way too greedy. No, no, no I, I doubt it as well. There you go, the Vision Doctor, another ban that's really nice versus the Wisp. Yeah, Vega still had one uh, support left if it had wanted to, but it might even just be a wind range support, and it might even pick up uh, some awesome mid. I doubt <laughs> no, it. No, yeah, it's dazzle. They're not gonna go no, greed versus greed then. The amount of minus armor that some Vega squadron makes, so oh, it's insane. So you have the Weave, you have the Slardars ulti. They can really destroy anyone in two or three last hits. And when that this Wind Ranger gets a few items, she's gonna hurt. She's gonna hurt a lot. There's just no way to really... It doesn't really matter what the R picks up the best. Like, the Dazzle, in that case, would have been great for them. Because then you can make sure that the person survived through the the stuns, at least for Slardar. But Phoenix, right? Well, that's the Phoenix. lockdown, but... Was it Wind Ranger? Uh... Uh, well, your ultimate from Wind Ranger doesn't work on the yeah, egg, but 
But there's, I don't know. Like... There are already three ranged heroes to speak about the story. Not they have no stuns, you know? They have zero stuns on that yeah. team. Power Rangers have zero stuns and they have an egg. What's to stop Vega from just focusing the egg once it uh, gets laid down? Oh, it's... it's... <laughs> Electric Vortex? You... That's yeah, about it. it just really needs to be very well positioned, that's all, I, I don't know. Good luck to both teams. Yeah, like Pasha is already saying that, so we'll start off with Vega. With Pasha, on the Dire, for Vega, with the Slaughter. Then we have uh, Sima displaying Stair, playing Tessa with no one on the Wind Ranger. We have Solo playing the Rubik. And we have Mac on his offlane clockwork. Feel free to take PR. <laughs> okay, on the side of PR on the Radiant, we have Goretz on the Wisp. We have uh, DTRA on playing the Gyro. Uh, then we have J4 on the Skyred Mage playing that position 5. Sunlight on the Storm Spirit. And we. Do we have anyone else? Did I yes. miss someone? Yes. Cheshire, get on the Phoenix. You, have their, you miss their most reliable stun if it gets off. <laughs> yeah, that's the only stun they have, more or less. Uh, apart from the other disable and electric vortex, it's worth Homing missile just needs to hit. Don't really even have to reset it. I w honestly, I would have liked the Bane maybe over this type of man. I agree, but what this Kyret uh, gives them is just lane control and this hero is a beast on the lane and uh, I believe this Wisp will spend a lot of his time in the jungle. Oh, did they did they break the trees? They didn't, so this Wisp isn't gonna actually stack a lot. That's what I expected from them to do is break all of these trees in the Radiant jungle and just stack for the Gyro. It brings the Gyro online uh, like even faster than he usually gets. I don't know. Two lanes. Two lanes, yeah. Well. I just want to make sure that at least Cheshire Cat gets something. I actually need to because he will have... I don't know why. Actually, he can just survive yeah. versus this thing. Not like they have anything to stop him. They just want to bully out Pasha. <laughs> yeah, they will pretty much bully out, bully him out with the uh, Fire Spirits. He won't be able to last it and... The Skyred Mage will just own him. But yeah, this I like what they did because the Dazzle alone can pretty much zone out the Phoenix with uh, if he takes a point into Poison Touch. Also with the Firebirds on? Uh, yeah, also with... well, Firebirds, you know, they only last a while and if you dodge one or two, you can pretty much zone the Phoenix. Especially if there's a Rubik lurking around as well. The position to have like dual... Just give Mac a lot of strength. Yeah, we get no he definitely will. There's no way to actually kill him. Like, he can orb, try to orb him down low and then barrage him. But put his cocks out and then. No, I, I don't think they will kill him. Like, he's taking a lot of damage here trying to stop the Wisp from uh, getting all the experience here and even taking a few last hits, right? But I don't think that they will be ever able to kill him. If he plays correctly. Yeah, if he plays correctly, of course. On the mid lane, it was first, of course, uh, the Rubik helping out. Still doing fine, he's five less his behind. Five to nine. David Ketchup. There's Sky going middle now. To oh, oh Cheshire again wins aggressive, and he got stunned by the Sand Tower. Oh my god, he just gets to give the first, right. by the way. There was a freebie. As soon as the Sky Red left top, Cheshire yeah. dies. So. Yeah. Honestly, that, that was unnecessary to do. He just aggressively uh, dived, Incarus dived straight into uh, the Rubik. And there, the Rubik just lifted him, him up, put him down next to the set tower, and he just got stunned. And just got killed. Yeah. A little bit of a. Well, it's not really the hardest lane to die to, you know, like yeah. having the Rubik and the Dazzle and the Slardar as well. It's You can see how passive he is on the top lane right now. Yeah, he has to, oh, especially if he just took that. Yeah, they're not gonna allow him to go towards. Oh, he's still actually getting one. <laughs> yeah, he actually got lucky. But, it... but yeah, too far. Only one creep. Doesn't make a difference, but yeah. It's already settling down quite a bit. There's only one kill in the. That's and you're just settling out a bit. Mid lane is still the same as before. No one is not gaining a lot more ground. Like does get his uh, bottom out. 
Well, you kind of expected no one to win this lane, especially when Rubik was there helping him a lot, uh, a lot early on. But Storm can always pull out to the jungle, especially when he's radiant. He can just stack a little bit and get his farm out. Yeah, he already has two points in static remnants, so I guess he was already prepared that... to go back to the. Yeah, he was prepared in case this Rubik stuck around a lot more. Walks into static remnants of Kevin. He's slowing down. But do you think late game definitely PR or uh... Well, you have that uh, Storm Spirit card to play whenever you know. If he snowballs a lot, like there's nothing they can do late game, but if you see the amount of minus armor they have on uh, Vega, with Slardar and Dazzle, it's. I, I don't know. I, I, I guess late game. PR got this, but is it gonna get there? Is the game gonna get that late. go that far? I'm, yeah, go that late, I'm not certain. Oh, the so far, he is just... to... Going in aggressive, lift off is there, but he still has the Incubus dive. But is he actually able to get this off? The heal bomb is there as well, and it's just getting easy. That's, that was too easy. Even with the Skyrim Mage there, he wasn't really able to do it. And he was, yeah, he couldn't prevent it. Maybe if he had silence skilled, he could have silenced the Slardar, but... Mason Shield was a chance, but... He only got the level 3 right now, and he didn't skill it before, so yeah. Usually you go was one. Exactly, yeah. Now they're just gonna be annoying on Sunlight again. The Sheko hits nothing because they're... <laughs> there were no trees behind. How did that? Oh, yeah, of course, all the power shots. Actually, it was a double edged sword there. Well, they're trying to go from back, but he just puts out the cogs, puts him, yeah, bumps a bit all the time, and solo even TP. Solo TP'd in, but <laughs> there's nothing he can do there. So, he that's can, can kind of a waste. Yeah, that's kind of a wasted port and wasted rotation. At least, I think they didn't see him. Did they see him? Yeah, they have a ward here, so they definitely saw him, so the top lane is... Uh, he could have potentially maybe checked the Ancient. He opted yeah. to not. No one just got an Infus room. Gonna go up and see. We're just gonna wait for the room. Box in. I don't think Sunlight will do it. He's just gonna run up and... Yeah, sure, Cat. He's already backing up. No, know that he's... Yeah, they definitely know that he's missing. Look at how passive they are sitting at their tier 1. They don't, they don't want to give away anymore. Over Vega's already been getting what it is. Oh, with Vega's. Just a little bit ahead. I would... Getting more in the open. And there's a shackle shot on Storm Spirit in the middle. But Rubik was just a little bit too late to lift him up and kill the deal. Power shot. He <laughs> does so much damage on him. The range of that power shot is insane. They force the wisp rotation, and Windrunner immediately pours down bottom, and this could get really dangerous. Yeah, there's hook shot in on there. He does have to call down, and he's able to run out from there. Vex taking a lot of damage, but the TP rotation is in there, and J4, he just helps him out in getting a kill. The storm is there as well. There's no electric vortex, so no one is just able to Windrun out. Mm, they did a beautiful job turning that around there. I actually don't thought they get a kill on Cheshire Cat. Everybody was sleeping away here. He also dies. At least Vega gets something back for it. It's still. I would say at the moment, mech for, uh, for the offlane Phoenix there is just. Radiant's top tower is under attack. He's still a little bit behind that. Oh, no, no, he's just laying in some damage on Cheshire Cat. Pull down. Oh, Ingress dive. Just... Oh. Well, they know that he's here. He yeah. might actually die he might... here if yeah, he, they he's commit. Not able to get out. There we go. First on him, and heal bomb kills him off. I didn't see. And that's a nice ward. Yeah. And he gets instantly pinged out by him. Like, there's a ward here. I don't think they will have it for much longer now. There you go. Probably be a fast rotation out there from either the Ayo or the Skyref. Real uh, chance to keep him off up there. This wood picked up. Yeah. Oh man. Might just be a dead support. Or... Well, he already got the Wisp on the runes, so... Oh, yeah. I thought he might yeah, just you... run them down. Yeah, he's run. 
Yeah, but his uh, battery assault was running out, so I guess that's why he stopped. I guess so. He finds sunlight, but I don't think there's a target he's able No way. No way. Ball lightning there is just... With no hookshot to follow up after that. He knows that he's running... At the same time, Dirty Row and... Uh, well, as uh, Gorak were actually rotating in to try and stop him, but... And she is just a little... What they did is they discovered these stacks right now with the clockwork rotation setting. So, but I don't think they are really able, able to, to, yeah, able to contest it right now. Also, already too late. That most are gonna get one. It was the level one uh, rocket flare. They're not really able to. It's not enough damage. Exactly, exactly. They needed to commit more people here to actually steal it. And they don't want. Gyro got a huge amount of gold. From that, they're just you know, getting everything right. Oh, and Parsha, they just building up for uh, for his blink and just wait to get his blink. Really rotating around the road. Start putting some pressure on the wisp as well. Go from there. Well, the PR. Uh, well, no one is actually just cleaning out their own jungles. Back a little bit for him. Actually, also just. But well, he's doing really good. The only one is like ahead right now. It raises to it. Yeah, he, the, no one is really keeping up really well. Especially when you consider that Tiara had a, a huge amount of stacks in the jungle. So. Uh, my mute Wind Ranger is doing <laughs> really well. I'm actually wondering why why did they go take a full camp there in the jungle? with Dirty Rock? And leave the entire save lane for the farm. Is it actually like there was a crack play for to actually the game because now they're returning to it. The only thing they essentially did was take a, a hard camp. Which you could have well, taken closer to me. Yeah. Well, well that's a little bit of a misplay, but if you could have at least sent the Phoenix maybe there to lead some experience or the Sky, but Sky isn't really able to stand on that lane versus the clock and yeah, they're smoking up and going bottom. Maybe that's one of the reasons because the Windrunner was missing all the time, so they didn't know what. Yeah, yeah, that that's the thing. Well, they were right to be scared because it's actually gonna start. Just gonna run under the tower. They put down a wall. I need a little bit more. Going to just walking all. Actually, PR also locked up. They're looking for something. Up. Russia, he's actually walking in. He does have his blink, but they're not seeing each other. But they just all walking. Yeah, they around. just move away. Yeah, they. <laughs> it's like a dance. <laughs> 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 okay, well, dance the smoke might is gonna be... get. Yeah. There we go. Amplify damage into crush. No, ah. that shackle shot. It did miss, but, but that power shot there already. Uh, they still had enough damage with the uh, amplify damage and. <laughs> And the few last, it's few few auto attacks. It was enough to bring the storm down. Wasn't that still quite easy? It sucks that you have to delay in casting the ball lightning. I think he's hating uh, Gabe right now. Need buff, man. Need the buff. There. But all this time, Egg is having a complete free offlane. He's just farming it while the Gyro and Wisp are focusing on stacking the jungle and farming it out, which is more or less the proper way to do it. Especially when the Windrunner and Rubik are missing <laughs> like 90% of this game, they are either smoking up, they are either farming the jungle or, <laughs> or trying to gank like one minute ago when they failed. So, yeah, they are playing the safe game, let's say. Yeah, but the problem with them getting with that actually. Now you're giving Mac a sentry. By giving him a free blade mill. He's at the helicopter. Not match yeah. up versus the clockwork anymore. Now the beacon. So that means that you actually have to make sure that the always relocators of down so you can save him. You can't really do anything. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to see a lot of uh uh defensive relocates on Gyro if uh Dire I mean, Vega continues to play well and just find those openings on Gyrocopter or Storm. I don't, if they get crushed this early on, this game is gonna get really hard really fast. 
Oh, good way to stop it. It's gonna be so tough, and I need to check my Skype from Russian cat. Okay, okay, go for it. I'm gonna play some Garmushka. <laughs> 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 How many instruments did you actually play? I know I asked you that one before, but what was it all again? I played more than just harmonica. Yeah, I don't play this. I don't know how to play this. I just fool around. I actually play bass, bass guitar and contrabass. There are some music videos of me on YouTube as well with some bands <laughs> that paid me to play for them and shit. But yeah, this is just for the loss, you know, for the ruffles, nothing more. Just to have some fun with it. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I need to use damage. Oh, don't forget, guys, we also actually have a Russian stream. Which got the feast as P2, man. I just got a message that it wasn't a lot of the two pounds. So you got. Now it's, it should be added on. Bad dudes, middle it's D2L, so. Sorry about that. Still, uh, you can also just feel free to uh, watch here and have some good time here. We'll read the chat also a little bit. Yeah, you have a Russian Bratan anyway here, so no need to go and watch on Dota, Dota 2 net, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we have, to, we have to real Russian here. Yeah, Although you're not I'm, Russian. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I, when I saw the Reddit post, it was like... Uh, Sidor oh, encounters yeah. a Russian musician and I'm like, okay, I'm Russian. <laughs> it's over, it's a deal. <laughs> There's no chance to ever come back from it, man. Yeah, no chance at pretty all. much, pretty much. Whenever you play now, the only thing you do so bad. Play it all, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you actually think or do you have players to pick up? Uh... Oh, I know Pasha plays it. Bobs? I don't know. I haven't seen anyone here play a Meepo. To be honest. I know that Pasha is a really nice Phoenix player. But from that one, I have no idea if anyone plays Meepo here. I don't think he will ever play uh, Phoenix in a competitive game. Just to the fact that that's kind of an offline hero supports uh, him being a position one. Yeah, but he was he was uh, an offlaner like. Before. He only changed position one a while ago. He was the offlaner before. Then so he man. played a lot of a lot of Phoenix. They actually they have actually. Yeah, they, Entire team of Vega Iron Bob. They're they're expecting a push, but and they're yeah. prepared. And I'm not sure if uh, PR is actually is I, I actually ready to take this fight. I, I really think they aren't. Definitely aren't. They they also know something is up. If if none of the lanes are getting farmed, like now with the the Wind Ranger loses, they might think that they are safe to go. Well, they yeah. There we go. They actually gotta go in here on Cheshire Cat. He gets stuck to the tree. And he but just gets Luke nice out. We'll see him on the Slayer gets blown over the Asian soon. Mystic Flare combo. Oh, look at this Rubik. They just put him all back into the cogs. But he just started getting blown up. Sunlight comes in. He gets elected Fortnix out. But he gets stunned up again. Oh, man. Oh, so many people dying. This is a nice egg here. They're getting slowed down. But no one is the one who didn't get slowed. So they are able to kill him. Mech, he has an urn on him. He will actually take a fall here. But Parsha comes in. And they kill him. Correct. And he's actually alive. He just... Well, the crows himself uh, life. And... There you go, whole team fight. Yeah. Uh, the whole team fight in one team fight, and I'm actually amazed that they actually got uh, one kill on the Rubik. And that uh, defensive relocate on uh, Phoenix was really nice, but they just didn't get back into the fight fast enough for that attack to matter because uh, everyone was already dead. He did plant plant a few nice uh, fire spirits, delaying the uh, delaying yeah. the, the egg, egg, yeah, yeah. the survival. Of it. Yeah, but it just wasn't good enough. In the end, they, they have to... <laughs> it was five heroes out there hitting the X, so... Even with they the got the Rubik in the end, that's something great. Yeah, but... It's definitely <laughs> not enough to salvage the fight. Definitely not. Uh, actually, I really, really like that lift up there. We completely forgot to mention that, that Rubik, uh, together with the Clockwork, is actually... Has a lot of synergy, just, you know, you hook in, and if somebody is next to the cock strike to help us, it makes you lift them up, throw them in as well. And so, like, you deal with them. Yeah, that start. was that was a great play as well, I agree. And it's rush time for them. With amplified, time. with amplified damage, they should be able to get it quite easily. Focus and fire on it. Yeah. Nice Radiant breathe. seems to have no idea so far. Oh, they just planted the ward here, but they didn't yeah. saw them walking in. 
Well, Solo is gonna start walking past it. They, they do see Solo and Mech walking here with his ward. They see him going invis. They might notice something is up right now because he went. Through. But it's already way too late. They smoked up actually. It's yeah, smoke is revealed. They know he's there. Should have seen his uh, invisibility. They need to back off, they need to stop taking fights on the side of PR and just <laughs> let them have everything they want to and try to build up, get your level 11 on the Phoenix, maybe uh, yeah, well, Phoenix maybe get a few items on the Storm Spirit and Gyro because there's no way they can take fights right now. Oh, they're really far behind them. The only one who's keeping up is, is Dirty Run, they're also expending all their resources pretty much to keep him there. Sunlight is below Mech, the, the offlane clockwork. He gets shackled, he should be able to still ball light in a way. A little bit of a Jew king, but... He's actually but going he... for first item, uh, Orchid. Orchid, yeah. yeah. What do you think? Good item here, or should he opt it maybe for Yules or a uh, Godstone? No, I think the Orchid build-up is really nice here. It's okay. But what he did there is he split a little bit, he brought down the tier 1 tower. As, <laughs> oh, uh, now he goes second. Yeah. Focus fire, even the hook shot. Battery assault. Oh, ah, that's, that's a nice cock. Ah, oh, that's that's nasty. <laughs> He's dead. Yeah, those cocks were really on spots. Oh, well man. played from him. Good job, Magman. Going up. Uh... He's just playing really, really well actually his entire match so far. Only died once in the offlane. Yeah, but he was against the Wisp and the Gyro. He wasn't supposed to die there, but still, yeah, he's playing a really decent match. Radiant structures are fortified. They, they have to start doing something with this eye because at the moment I don't feel like they're, they're completely utilizing it. They're not really. I don't think what else they can do. This is the maximum they can pull out of the side right now. I believe they can just split push, and if they go on the gyro, they can either relocate him out or fall back faster. And that's all they can do. They can't fight right now. Gyro isn't in fighting condition. Yeah, in fighting condition at all. And storm, <laughs> storm has nothing so far. I know. Well, the gyro needs at least his PKB. He actually went from drum set to PKB. That's a really old school build. Well, they're actually gonna get found here by Punch. They're able to relocate out here on time, or you're not even gonna try it. Is he gonna get hooked? No. There was no hook online, it just came out of cooldown. And no uh, RNG for uh, Punch to get the first hit bash. He has to get it a little bit more. I don't know. PR is uh, in a really rough shape right now. They're about over 7.5k gold down at the moment. And nearing the same mark in uh, in XP. Well, Mech seems to be having a little bit of issue. Uh, happens more with PR. Or with PR with Fake. You yeah, should be able to get back at the end. I'm not sure what they can do. I think they got basically outdrafted. It's not even being outdrafted. It's just that they draft. Their draft doesn't have a lot of synergy. I, I believe that as well. Uh, at least... Like, you have nothing with the egg, you know, like, at least one stun to follow it up or anything, like... Even for you have no... overgrowth? Yeah, and... Over... Overgrowth is an overkill, like anything, just... Uh, yeah. That's one fun, man, it's just fun to see! Someone, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's... What is better than seeing an egg in an overgrowth, man? It's just so... Okay, better thing is to also have an enigma. <laughs> that's just fun. But yeah, it's... Uh... Yeah, this, so this Mac got nothing. disconnected again. Is this Didos? I don't know. We'll, we'll see if what the team say to us. Did you say that they had, had a lower percentage to win Vega? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, yeah. PR is high win rate or uh, high chance. Yeah. We, we did uh, our sponsor stuff. You know, eBattle high chances. Well, go. We also have uh, what, what is the HyperX uh, sponsoring us. We have Intel. We have Asus, ROG. We have a lot of sponsors actually. Really nice sponsors as well. Well, we just hear the, the nice noises of the birds in game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel bad for them. Like, I know on the first hand how bad it is when one of your players disconnects and you have to wait and you have to beg the admins to wait a little bit more. It happens to us a lot. I got DDoS. Yeah, this <laughs> tournament even. <laughs> yeah, in this tournament even, exactly. So it's It really sucks. It also puts your team at a pretty big disadvantage, but essentially, if you are really DDoS, you need to pay, bring in somebody else. 
and you don't always have a stand-in available straight away. But yeah, Elisa seems to, to be trying it again with Mech here. He's reconnecting right now. So let's see if uh, everything is fixed right now. We'll see what he says in the. So what do you think about the late game? I believe that uh, PR has a little bit of a chance, but <laughs> it's a really slight one. Like, it might even need to go just rape your after the BKB instantly. If they shut down. <laughs> He's going to melt. He's yeah. going to melt from. But what else is he? What really can he get? Like, he, let's say he goes for a little bit of a hybrid. Like he goes for Scotty. What does it really give them? He will still get blown up. Whatever he gets, he's he's bound to be blown up unless there's a defensive relocate or something like that to save yeah. him. So, but if he already has BKB on, amplify damage on him, focus fire as well. He can already not fight versus them. And once he has BKB on, tether is not on him already. It means that he can't get tethered anymore and relocate it back. So, once he put BKB, he's on his own if he's not tethered beforehand. Pretty much, it's a hard game for PR. That's all. That's about it. <laughs> I, I wish them luck, but it's a hard game for them. <laughs> it's just going to be so tough to get back from this. They're also really just Vega is just doing what they need to be doing. You know, they're just you know, they're just getting a lot of gold, just making sure they stay ahead and keep on ganking, keep on looking for fights, pickoffs, and just make sure the PR is on back foot. Are they actually able to farm back into this? Is going to be really because what do you think? Sunlight will have his. Orchid at what 24 minutes in this time, yeah. But what is going what what is it going to do? Because uh, no one already has his BKB, Slardar is Ogre Club and 1400 gold, so I, I don't see I don't see this Orchid doing anything right now, you know. At best, you can start picking off sports, but at best, but I don't think that they will be walking around alone anytime soon. It's, it's... And even then, Rubik is already going for a uh, for Glimmer Cape. That Glimmer Cape <laughs> basically yeah. saves him from any storm jumps. Yeah. It just negates so much of the storm damage uh, from uh, spirit damage. Like, what's he gonna do essentially? He's relying a lot of magical damage in the game. Even in the late game, he's quite reliant on it as well. Yeah, that's another thing. First of all, he negates most of storm's damage, and the second thing is, if he gets jumped on while being solo somewhere, maybe uh, voiding or anything, he can still just glimmer cape himself unless Storm has some dust or sentry, which is very unlikely to happen, I believe. Yeah, that's... At least he's gonna get the uh, advantage of the surprise in the first time. Oh, he's trying to go for Shima here, bro. Trying to go for him, just zip in and throw out an auto attack. He's even too afraid to go into the, uh, into the desert right now. You know that you're then in a dire state if you're not able to get Dyer's into top tower is under what the position 5 is in. Top tower has fallen. even got already a medallion here. There's minus armor on Vegas. It's real. <laughs> and it's real. Not a lot. And now at least they... I was already looking at Cheshire Cat before. He had like about 1800 gold and he did opt to go for the Midas. But this is... Really putting all your ass in one basket, you know, you go late game, so hard now. I, th I think that he had to get it, uh, if for nothing, just to get that level 11 sooner, because right now, his egg does nothing. When he gets his level 11, that egg might survive a team fight. but right now on uh, the level 6 egg, you know, the level 1, yeah, it's ultimate, just, it's just super no light. Yeah, 5 hits is it's not just, enough. yeah, it's just not enough. At least they are keeping on being diligent on stacking their Asian, trying to get back into it just through farm on the uh, Dirty Rabbit. If you just have one person that is farmed versus essentially a three core lineup that is just uh, near the same amount of farm that you do, at least two of them, he's still gonna lose. Like, there's no way to protect him with this lineup. Just not much. They might have actually... You see the this position he's waiting in here for the. Okay. Below? Yeah, but it's not gonna happen because they're just happy with taking the tier 2 on top. They're just losing, now they're just starting to lose all map control and soon they will be starved out. But well, they still have to... The Aegis and Pasha here. They're just gonna start looking for a fight and they can just initiate with him solo. There's no real need for anybody to be that close because they have so much mobility already. 
He's not gonna find it. He has. It's gonna be reclaimed now. Oh, yeah. And he's just gonna get. Is it still? There's no real need for them to stop this aggression. Like, look there's kills. no need, and uh, stopping the aggression would be the wrong thing to do. Yeah, once he has his BKB, I'm, there you go. He will get his BKB delivered, and then he will start roaming again, looking for kills actively. They might try to go on no one on middle, but he has his BKB, so. Are they gonna I'm start relocating so sure out? No, they're st still not doing that. They're just gonna leave it for now while he gets lifted up into the air. Day four, he comes in, he throws out the. Uh, I'm bold, but it uh, doesn't a lot. At least they bait out the uh, the BKB of no one. And so oh. that's the BKB bait. That's something. Yeah, there's no real need to do more. I doubt Vega will start pushing in straight again. They need to have the BKBs though. This is just a game. Yochiba, he does have a BKB, so he's able to get out, use his call down to push in the wave a little bit more, and then just gets out. Marsha is still looking for him, but I doubt he will <laughs> ever be able to find him there. Yeah, he's still searching, but he's not gonna find anything. And uh, what he did do is he brought some of them, those heroes on top, ported immediately on bottom lane, so he's basically making the space for, for himself to farm, uh, which is what Storm was doing a moment ago. So yeah, they're they're, they're doing what they're doing on this split. And, yeah. They're, they're delaying this as, as much as possible. Yeah, they're, they're just doing what they need to be doing. They're playing it correctly, but it's still so hard to just come back from this. Because there's already a big deficit. Just look at the confidence here. They're just smoking with two supports. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that, they are. That, that their is, plan is... Yeah, to get out of wars probably, but now he's just gonna get found here. He gets blown up. It was a little bit too aggressive. Mech comes in, but now it's just Mech. Well, Sima is, is walking back now. They're on the back line. They get J4. There's gonna be the egg pop. He didn't get off any of the uh, fiber, so he's just gonna get killed. That's your level 1 supernova. That was a little bit too much. While Pesha goes on the back line, he finds the IO, kills him off. BKB's popped everywhere, and he just starts TPing out. There's no hookshot to, oh, to stop this, but there RNG. is a bash. There is the bash. RNG is there, man. It is was the uh, like they can just walk in essentially with one person and just follow it up with all the mobility that they already have between you know wind run, blinks, hook shot. So what seemed to be very questionable to support smoking in going to their jungle yeah. eventually <laughs> turned out to be a almost team wipe. So yeah, the mobility from Slardar and Windrunner Runner just porting in on tier one and getting that space <laughs> too fast. I don't yeah. know. It, it, this is just, just so. Like, how do you play versus this man now? Like, they're not gonna look to breeze high ground now. They're gonna wait for the next uh, ages. That's quite close, uh, obvious. That's what they're gonna do. It will be spawning in one minute. At least in one minute, we can see the time. And what uh, what <laughs> can PR do then? Because if they're gonna get ba uh, their base siege, what do they really have to, to protect it at the moment? Phoenix. He has essentially a medallion of courage. Almost done. That's, that's not an item to protect your base, that's an item to try and steal Rush. Not really gonna help them out much. J4. At the moment he doesn't have... It's runner to maybe go for a MKB, so it's, it's a decent item overall, but... He's going again. But yeah, after that he might actually just go that... Uh... Yeah, it's, it's actually, yeah. Versus, uh, versus Dirty Run, this would actually be really great. It essentially already means that if he gets a butterfly, it's already wasted. Good shot. That one was... And he still sees J4, but... Yeah, he's just start running away. Concussion missed. But what even if he hits the concussion? If he tries to ulti him, he just blade mails. Yeah, blade mails maybe he turns around and kills him. And yeah. No one just got a storm kill on his own. Yeah, I, I didn't see that. I wasn't expect I saw him walking in the top lane, like, you know, it's a storm, he should be able to zip out. But yeah, I him. expected him to not fight there, but... There's, there's no way that he can win from, uh, from the wind range or no one. Just too far, what is it, he is? 7500 to 1.1k. 1.5... In percent uh, times, of course. Marcia, oh, he might just actually find a uh, raw here, but he's not gonna go for it. A little bit too far. You don't oh solar crest is done. This is just so nasty from Shima. Solar crest is done on Shima. Oh. Well, that's really. Uh, <laughs> I 
I don't see how they will stop this push. No, you, if you have Peaky Beyond with the Sword of Quest, you're just invulnerable to the side of PR. They're gonna just fall back and take Rosh and then continue pushing, maybe get one more pick off and just try to finish this game. Cheshire Cat does has, have his uh, level 11, but that tag is still gonna fall pretty fast because they have two BKDs now, so... Yeah. There's no real chance to do that. They even have a Hyperstone to Slarder now. Harder now. Even if he's just gonna down their deck instantly. Exactly. It's just gonna be hard. And Sima is opting for a uh, for an Aghanims, I would assume, with the Yogurt Club here. If he ever has the time to get it. But do you think you like the pick up here, or do you think he should maybe go for something else? The Aghanims on Dazzle. Yeah. I don't know, it's nice. It's decent. <laughs> it uh, boosts your armor. Right, yeah. and the range and everything, and makes you push even faster. So, yeah, it's the right thing to go for. The high ground in mind. Of it. So they are already pushing. There's a Wisp and Gyrocopter reporting back. Storm is trying whatever he can do to delay the middle creeps and get a little bit more of far. But, but they don't care about mid lane. They just want both. Yeah, they they are just taking this. And there's nothing to stop them right now. They're gonna. Try to do the egg ulti into cooldown, I assume, but... It's gonna be the zip in first, cooldown is there, Mystic Player as well, they might just blow a passion before it starts, but nope, there's the Glimmer Cape, there's the BKB, Dirty Ra, he is now locked down, there's gonna be the hookshot onto J4, but they already expanded everything, so he will just take the fall there to Mech eventually. Buyback is there, used by Sunlight, well they're trying to go all in on Mech, Mech he just four steps out, starts running, they keep him following, he might die here, he will push, he is low, he still, he doesn't have the Aegis though. So he might just die here. Ooh, there's a shadow oh, wave just in time. He's yeah, dying. Civil. That zip over him, man. That's a dieback. That might just already be GG. That's a GG, I believe. I don't know. We'll see. They're just really far down. This NG, yeah, this is not the biggest of swings. Because they did lose Mac there. But still. No one still has Jaegers. He can just stand on the front lines now instead of Pasha. Funny thing is, uh, Cheshire Cat didn't even use his ulti that whole fight. He was. He just used his Sunray, I believe, in some Yeah, that's, that's the only thing he used this whole fight, it's a Sunray. I, if, if you're too afraid to Incarus dive in and use your egg, you, you know you're really, really far behind. Oh, <laughs> this Shekka shot. And the ball lightning in. There's gonna be the crush as well, blown up. He does get out the TF, uh, who does get out the Mystic Flare, but it doesn't really matter because he is just gonna get Focus 5 down. And now... They're gonna start looking at the mid, uh, mid tower here. He has his focus fires up in 3 seconds and... Jaru is up. Storm is up in 10 seconds, but there's nothing they can do right now. No one still has his Aegis and... Caldan's gonna be used. He's just gonna dodge it for now. At least in 4 points. Yeah, they're gonna dodge both. But Pasha... Only gonna oh, Pasha it. walks into it, but... Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really matter that much. Storm. Oh, we're hearing some zipping here. They're going after uh, Cheshire Cat. And he's actually getting the egg up, but... This just doesn't really matter. Correct, he is low. He's not gonna be able to use the game. And there's GG called. 30 minutes match. Vega just dominated throughout the entire match with their with the minus armor threat here. No way to stop this. The draft was stronger. The synergy on radiant draft draft was really low, and that's all. This just didn't plan out for uh, for PR here. In the first match of our grand final, we have a best of five here in the Mountain Trail Challenge. With me is, of course, Lizard. You can, uh, yeah, you have a Twitch channel, is it? There we go. If you want to hear a lot of the harmonica and a lot of Russian accent speaking, I would say, <laughs> <laughs> go to www.twitch.com or TV, I mean, slash uh, Lizard Dota 2 and just follow. Oh my God, there. I'm getting, I'm getting so much promotion. Thank you, bro. Yeah, man. And that's why you're <laughs> co-casting here. I always give some. I even have your, uh, what is it, you know, in casters thing is like, uh, it's like your casters are sender and uh, www.twitch. Nice, 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 yeah. nice. Thank you. I'm getting you followers. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go and uh, into a bit of a break, what should be five minutes or so. Special commercials, make our sponsors happy, and uh, then we will be back with the second match of our best of five in the grand final. <laughs> 